Yes, we're back. We're back again in Taurus Plus. We're back again on the lovely island of Fuerteventura. And this time to start a whole new adventure. Yes, it's time to move Roaming Driver to the Canary Islands. So this, where I'm stood, where I generally start all of my content from Taurus Plus, is going to be the last time I'm going to be stood here for a while. I'll explain more after this. Grab that guidebook to Adventures in Taurus Bus. And let's go. So hi there, Steve here, and yes, welcome to Taurus Bus indeed. If you're new to my content, then welcome. Uh, this uh, new series, Adventure, is going to be going out on the channel every other Friday. Uh, the opposite Friday will be something from its sister game, Fern Bus. Uh, on a Monday, it's something from Omsi. On a Wednesday, it's something from Trains. On a Saturday, currently uh, running a series on Farming and Flight. Uh, when that comes to an end, then Trucking, that is now on a Sunday, will move to a Saturday. Confused? Yeah. Uh, so Roaming Driver is something that I'm doing across various uh, games that I put content out on. Uh, it's something we've done in Firm Bus for a while, it's something we're doing in Train Sim, something we're doing in Flight, something we're doing in Trucking. And I thought, well, why not bring it to Fuerteventura? And basically what it is, uh, we will do a journey, and wherever we end up on that journey is where on the next journey we'll start from. So it's so my driver that's roaming stays there and then carries on from there next time. So this first journey uh, is starting here at the home uh, location in El Matarau. Uh, we're going to go from there to the airport, to Puerto del Rosario, and then out onto the main road at Puerto del Rosario, and then up to Coraleco. And that is where we'll end. Next time we'll start in Coraleco and move away around the island, visiting all the stops and all the places we can on the island, and basically do a tour. Uh, I'll jump down from here. Uh, so we won't be back here until we get back to the end again. So it's going to be a while. Uh, and with each journey we do, I will be changing through the vehicles. So in the same way that I currently do for Firm Bus, with each journey, we'll use a new coach. And it's walked... Um, it's walked... I'm about to, wow. I'm about to walk down to where it's parked. It's parked, is what I meant to say. Uh, at the first stop with some people waiting. Uh, so we'll walk down and get it set up. So yeah, really enjoying doing this uh, in other uh, games. As I said, I've been doing it in trucking, been doing it in firm bus for a while. Uh, currently doing it in uh, train sim, and we have been doing it in flight. Um, so it's a great way of getting to see the island if you haven't seen it. So here is our coach, the standard MAN that you get with the game. Um, I thought I'd start with this one. We'll climb ourselves aboard. Start it up. Oh, activate our destination display. So, fanfare horn on, Wi Fi on, kitchen clearance on, restroom clearance on, reading lights on, passenger lights on, passenger monitor on, driver monitor off, air conditioning on. That will set at 21 degrees. And our passengers are already on. So we can make our way. Maybe. There we go. We can make our way to our first stop. See, so yeah, I've been looking at um, ways of being able to um, sort of bring some tourist bus information, information, some tourist. Well, I can't speak today. Uh, some tourist bus content back. Um, and I want to do something similar to what I'm doing in trucking, etc. So we'll see how this goes. The plan is then, if uh, you enjoy it, uh, we will then do this uh, fortnightly. So we'll do Firm Bus one week, and then do Taurus Bus the following week. So, airport is our first stop. So we'll make our way around here. I thought it would be a good place to go to get ourselves up to the top of the island to Coraleco. 
Uh, if you are new to this content, I will leave a link down in the uh, doobly-doo below as to where... That's a view. Uh, as, to, as to where you can... Why am I not central? Oh, God. Um, as to where you can catch me do some of this stuff live. Um, which I do on Twitch. I'm trying to concentrate now. Where am I going? Uh, which I do on Twitch uh, between five and six days a week. Such a professional. Um, so I will leave a link down in the description below to the Twitch page um, where you can uh, check that out. I'll also leave a link down there to the Discord server as well um, where uh, you can join an awesome community on Discord. Right. So I need to go round here. There we are. Okay, so into the bus station. So pick up some passengers from there that have just arrived. I do really like the standard MAN. So we'll work our way through all of the coaches, uh, including the VDL Double Decker, the, um, the Skyliner, and we'll just make our way around the island. Right, stop! Right, people getting people getting off already. Well, they didn't stay on very long, did they? Right, wait till everybody's on. And I think you're the last one. Yes, you are. No, that's open the back door. Let's close the front door. It's like I never played this before. Right. Okay, make our way forwards. And turn ourselves around. Right, next stop is actually showing up now as being a distance at 12k. Lucky we're in a double decker. Sims and stuff travel. Right, out of here. We don't need fuel, I don't think. Uh, nope, we're all good. We're full on fuel. And I really am liking the way that the island is uh, is looking now. You know, TML, despite the fact that they're focusing on their new title. Uh, the bus, which I will bring you uh, content on when I'm able. Um, they're still making little tweaks to Taurus bus and little tweaks to uh, Firm bus as well. Right, so 9k. So we're going into Puerto del Rosario, uh, then to the bus stop on the outside. And then uh, trip up to Coral Echo, where his first little journey will end. Something I'm getting a bit confused there as to where I was going, but I know where I'm going. There we are. Okay, we'll stay in this lane because we've got to turn right up here. I'll leave a link down in the description below as well to where you can purchase the game. Uh, in case you haven't already uh, got it, uh, it's uh, awesome to be able to drive around for Adventura. And the fact that you can do, as I've done with this, uh, in just free play, you can basically just create a route easily and just drive it. So you haven't got to worry about the whole company aspect of it. You just pick your vehicle, pick your, uh, design your route, and go. Okay, so our stop is up here. Come 
coming. Good, we shall proceed. So I've done the stop, the, which you can pick which side of the road to stop, so I've done it coming back out again. So we've got to go up here and round the block before we can then come in. So we'll do that. So taking the long VDLs and the skyline around here is always interesting. <clears throat> I did do a journey, uh, which was the previous uh, tourist bus to this one on YouTube, where I took the new VDL double decker basically on a, a grand tour of the island and ended up taking it off roading. That was the thing. So, right down here. Without possibly hitting that. Or the car behind, because that wouldn't be ideal. Right, stop number two. In we come, into the stop. People getting on, people getting off. People getting on, people getting off. As long as more people get on than people get off, we're fine. Are there more? It comes more. Nope, that one. Got quite a few on board now, I think. Yeah, we're filling up. Hmm, let's sit back down. Right, so now off to the next stop. Which is on the road at Puerto del Rosario. <coughs> and then uh, say off to Coraleco. Uh, so yeah, if you like the idea of this, uh, please let me know in the comment below. Not in the comment below, just the one. Uh, the doobly-doo, comments thingy, the boxy thingy, you know what I mean. Hiya, what? Um, and uh, so the plan is to make it fortnightly, uh, where we'll carry on. Uh, weather's set to dynamic as well. So as you can see, the date that I'm currently recording this is uh, the 18th of February. So a little bit before you actually see it. Um, and I may record the next one by the time you see the first one. Okay, right turn. So, the second stop is just up here. So you can pick as many stops as you like when you're actually doing these free play routes. I really like the idea of them. Just to be able to jump on and give a tour of the island. Alright, is anyone getting off here? Yes, there are. Many people getting off. Obviously popular for the shops along here. Blimey. Okay. A lot of them are getting off. I mean, nobody left. Is that it now? I think we're good. Right. Okay. Off to the final stop then. That was quick, wasn't it? Coraleco in uh, Coralejo in thirty-one uh, Ks. So yeah, really looking forward. There's probably bits on the island because I generally, when I do these videos uh, or streams, I generally end up going down the same roads. So there's going to be bus stops on this that I've you know, not shown on a video before. So I'll try and stop at as many different uh, bus stops as I can around the island. And basically show you, you know, all parts of the island. So obviously we stopped at the couple there. Stopped at the airport. There was three different places we could have stopped at the airport. Um, obviously there's a couple of places in one town I may not. But at least we'll visit every town and then every one of the little remote uh, bus stops that we can.
puts this map and this island just doesn't disappoint. It just looks so, so good. Breaking. Lots of the braking. Don't want to ground out really. And there are some of the vehicles that will bring round here that we will ground out. Feels strange doing these with no one counting the crashes. That normally happens when I'm in uh, a tourist bus. That's a hill. the way the island looks, the way the dynamics are. I'm also keen on sitting this close to the steering wheel, I must admit. That could be a me thing. Um, but the whole map is just so good. Oh, well, that was a thing. Okay, my track AR decided to play up then. Forever the professional. Oh, we got it going again. Okay, we'll go this way. Come on then. You're not, are you? Oh, I think you are. No, I think he did. He did actually stop. Right, so this is a new bit of road. So he could have carried on straight down through a couple of dips and then down past the dunes to get into Coral Echo. This is like a new, quicker route into Coral Echo. So up here, and then on this uh, new bit of dual carriageway. Which isn't as picturesque, because you're going away from the sea, but it's quite nice. But yeah, I do like these standard MANs. Um, even the newer MAN is basically, basically a um, just an updated version of this. But it's quite nice just jumping back in this. What is going on my track IR today? I do apologise. Come on, track IR. Come on. We'll turn it off. <laughs> That's probably easier. Wow. I know exactly what it is. Being a professional, I am. It's quite light. <clears throat> and the uh, the room I record in has... Uh, I've got the door open, which is directly behind me. So directly to where the track IR sensor is pointing towards. And if it gets brighter in the hallway, track IR doesn't like bright light. <laughs> Yay. We'll go without track IR, it's fine. So yeah, if you are new to my content, that's the sort of professionalism we have here. Right, 10k until we arrive in Coral Echo. Yeah, this road's okay. Um, so it's not as picturesque as going along the coast. Okay, let's turn right. Oh, That's where I get so used to using track IR. Good thing is the if you haven't got something like track IR, when you do turn the wheel, the camera does move slightly, so you can sort of see around the corner, as it were. Um, which does make it a lot easier. 
to position the vehicle. Okay, so our stop is uh, coming up down here. So some of these won't be very long um, because we will just do hops from town to town. So it uh, could be a great way of just putting out a little bit of quick content. Um, so some of the firm bus ones do end up being quite lengthy. Oops. Well, I do apologise. I couldn't see you. Right, into Coroneco we come. With a slight dent in the coach now. And then wait for AI cars. Uh, so yeah, let me know below if you uh, if you want to see more of this. If you like the idea of... I really enjoyed doing the whole roaming driver thing in various games. So currently doing it in um, ETS2. Currently doing it in Train Sim, although not every week. Um, flights we have been doing it and will return to eventually. Firm Bus I've been doing it for a long time. Um, and um, it's a good idea to do it in this as well. So let me know below if you... Uh, if you want to see more of it and then the plan would be then to alternate between firm bus and tourist bus so uh, firm bus one friday i'm gonna have to pull out on ice i can't look left and right um and then uh tourist bus the other friday oh that might have been a lamppost And there we go. All of our passengers get off. Before you start the return route, you can either make a 10 minute break or skip the break via the skip menu on the smartphone. There we go. So you won't be making the return routes because that'll just get really confusing. Um, but we will get up and have a wander. Uh, so there we go. We'll have a look at the uh, aqua park. Um, we will end uh, here at the uh, aqua park. Let me get to check out those links uh, down below, say, to the uh, Discord server and to Twitch. Catch me live between five and six days of the week on Twitch. And, uh, yeah, let me know and give it a thumbs up if you want to see more. And we will end there. Until the next time, if you have been, thanks very, very much for watching.